In today's lesson, we're going to talk about variables and how to use variables, how to declare them, so on and so forth. So declaring a variable in Python is very straightforward and simple. I mean, a variable is nothing more than basically memory location. Um, a variable allows you to store information inside the memory so you can retrieve it modify it and do what you want with it so in order to set that memory aside you need to declare a variable so let's go ahead and declare a variable now uh, we're going to give our variable the name of x and we're going to initialize it with the variable zero rather with the value zero so now if we were to print x it will print the value zero. Let's go ahead and try that now. And as you can see here on screen, it printed zero. Now, let's try something different. So we're going to declare another variable. Actually, before we do that, let me demonstrate something. So right now, our variable is a integer value of zero. Now, we can just as easily turn that variable, which is x, and turn it into a string variable. Simply by initializing it with a string uh, variable, as we're doing here. save this so as you can see X was initially an integer variable rather an integer value of 0 and then we converted it to a string and gave it the value of this is some text so as you can see a variable can be different types you just merely need to initialize it with the data type that you'd like to use. So let's try this. Let's turn this into a variable called y. And let's try to print x plus y, which means add them together and print them to the screen. Let's go ahead and save that. So, what this should do is basically, when it's all said and done, we should, it should print to the screen something that looks like that. So let's go ahead and save this. And let's run it. And uh-oh, we got an error. So if we look, type error, unsupported, operand types, for plus, int, and stir. So what it's telling us is that we're trying to uh, combine two different variable types. And in Python, you can't do that. So what we need to do is convert one of these variable types um, to a string or they both need to be the same variable type so in this instance we're going to convert x which is the value 0 to a string and we're going to use the str function and what this function does is it takes whatever parameter you pass into it which in this case we're passing x which the va x is the value of 0 and it will convert that into a string so let's go ahead and save it. Let's run. And there you go. So the first line, 0, is being printed from right here. And then we declare our variable y, give it the value this is some text, and we print that to screen. We can see that right here. And then lastly, we print our variable x and concatenate that with our variable y to get 
us the text zero, this is some text. Now, this is basically taking zero and converting it into a string zero. So that's all that's happening right there. Now we could go the other way with this. Now just as a quick example, now if you look at x and y, x is zero and y is zero. So to us as a human, it's the same data, but to the computer, that is not the same at all. So if we try to run this, we should still get an error. Because even though to us, both of those are zeros, um, to the computer, there are two completely different values. So what we could do is this time, we can convert our string y into an integer. And so now they are both integers, x, we can see is an integer. And then we're going to convert y, which is a string, into its integer equivalent, which is zero. So let's go ahead and run that. And bam, you can see we didn't get any errors. And we were able to print both values to the screen. All right. So now let's talk about global variables. So in order for this to, for me to demonstrate this, we need to create a function. Now for right now, just ignore the function. Don't worry about it. That's actually gonna be our next lesson. Um, but for right now, let's just, we're gonna need to use this for an example. Okay, so let's save this. Let's just go ahead and run the program so we can analyze the output. All right, so when the program runs, it declares x is zero, and then it prints x to the screen, which we have right here, zero. Um, next, we declare our function, and nothing happens here. We're just simply declaring it. That gets skipped. And now we move on to our next line, which is calling the test function. So then our code is going to come up here. It's going to turn x into the value of 1 and then print that to the screen. And that's what we have right here. And then our code is going to return back to the text function, move to the next line. Here x is being declared as the string value abc. And then we're printing x to the screen, which is the text value of abc. All right, now we have something that's called global variables. So you can see each time we change the value x, as we did right here, printed it to the screen, did here, printed it, and lastly printed it. Every time we modified x, the value changed. Okay, now let's demonstrate how global variables work. All right, so let's save that. And now let's go ahead and run it. And let's look at the output and see what's happening. So first we're declaring x is zero, and then we're printing that to the screen, as we can see here on the first line. Um, next, our code is going to declare our function. It will then skip over that. On our next line, we're actually calling our function. So our code will come back up here, going to declare x is equals one. It's gonna print that to the screen, and we can see that right here. 
And now we're going to leave this function and move to the next line of code, which is print x. And you can see x is printing a zero. Even though we just converted it to one, when we leave this function and then print x, it's back to zero as it was up here. Because variables inside of a function have their own local version. So this x inside this code here is not the same x as this code here or here. Basically anywhere is outside the function. And that's very important because you might want the same value to exist all the way across the board. So if that's what you want to do, what you need to do is declare your variable x inside your function as a global variable. So now if we save this and we run the code, we should get the output of 0, 1, 1. Because we changed one here and because it's a global variable, that means x is going to change everywhere. So when we leave this function and go to our next line, x should still be 1. Let's go ahead and give that a try. Perfect. The code executed exactly as we expected. So that's how global variables work. They're pretty simple. You can choose to have a variable that's local, meaning it only exists in that element or that function, or you can have a variable that's global where that variable can be accessible from anywhere within that code. All right, guys, the last thing I'm going to show you here is that you can delete a variable when you're done with it. If you no longer need it um, and you want to free up memory or whatever, you can just delete that variable. Basically, this should actually give us an error because what's happening is we're going to delete the variable x, but then we immediately try to print it, and that should obviously be a problem. Um, we can't print something that doesn't exist. And that's just merely to demonstrate this delete function and how it operates. So let's go ahead and save this code and execute. And sure enough, the program worked just fine up until this last print statement. We deleted the x, which that also worked. And then you can see here, print x global name x is not defined and that's because we deleted it right there so there you have it guys I think that's a good little introduction to variables with Python so why don't you go ahead and create a script and and play with these variables um, create some string variables create some integer variables print them to the screen um, just just play around with it get comfortable with it and then tomorrow we're going to pick up on functions and we're going to actually start writing some code that actually does some function, um, functionality, does something cool. So I'll try to come up with something that's somewhat useful or, or just something that we can code instead of just, you know, coding these stupid little print statements. Um, but that's going to do it for today, guys. I greatly appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. It's very motivating for me to make new videos. If you have any friends or know anybody who might be inter interested in my videos, please share these videos. I greatly appreciate it. I will see you guys on the other side.